Hi everyone and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video we are going to talk about uh, the Redis uh, database in App Inventor 2. Uh, so it's really a great, great uh, component which allows you to easily uh, use a database on the internet uh, and to record uh, multiple uh, values. So that's why it's uh, it's kind of wonderful. Um, so you will find it under storage over here, then that's the cloud DB, right? They don't say uh, explicitly that it's Redis, but if you just go on the question mark, you will see that here they are saying that it's using the Redis uh, software. So by default, the data are stored on two components selected. Um, oops. It's stored in the MIT database, so let's uh, let's go over here, um, and uh, that's what they are saying. Okay, server maintained by the MIT, but you can use your own uh, server as well. So here, as you can see, I inserted the components. I added two fields. The idea is to show you that first name and family name will be sent out and recorded at the same moment. So here, once I click on save, it will record the first name and the family name. And if I click here on red, it will read the uh, those two values according to the index that I will mention over here, because of course, all those data are uh, recorded on the same uh, database. So I need to indicate an index in order to say which uh, column I'm going to fetch. Uh, in terms of code, it looks like this. So as you can see, it's, um, it's kind of small. So uh, this is button one is the save button. So if I click on it, what it's gonna do is that it's gonna save the value which is within the first name field. Um, and it's going to save it as a tag, uh, which is first name, and then it's going to save as well in a tag the value um, of the family name field. And um, if I click on uh, button number two, uh, what's going to do is that it's going to go and fetch uh, within the database of uh, Redis the tag first name and the tag family name. So it's going to get those two values, but then I need uh, to uh, inform about the index because here, as you can see, I'm um, I'm appending in fact the value to a list and not to the tag in itself. So I'm appending it to the tag, but by using a list like this instead of having a value which is overwriting the other value, it's just appending the uh, value to uh, the other one, and like this I get a list. So I need to index, in fact, within the list at which level I am, and this is what I have over here. So when the value is grabbed, so when the um, uh, click is down and the value is fetched, then if the tag has the value first name, then I will uh, fetch the linked value to the tag first name and I will put it within the label one and I will go for the index which correspond to the field that I selected and same thing for the family name. So as a result, if I have my app running over here and uh, um, so here I guess it will be index number probably 12, but I'm going to click over here. I'm going to give a name which is uh, uh, Marilyn. So let's go for Marilyn. Okay, I'm going to say Monroe over here, Mon Monroe, okay. So um, here if I click on save, it's going to record it within the database. So that's uh, the, the first part of my script over here. So by clicking on save, I'm executing all of this. And if I click on the button two, uh, what's going to happen is that it's going to fetch within the database um, at the index that I'm going to inform over here. So here, if I put, for example, number 12 and that I click over here, okay, I get nothing because probably the number 12 doesn't exist. So it's probably number 11, go like this, 11. And here, as you can see, it's Marilyn Monroe. So I get this one right. If I write another one, like uh, just a Mary, okay, just a Mary, and uh, just to give like a, like a simple name, like Johnson, Johnson, okay, Johnson, that I save this. So if I ask for the 11, it's going to still uh, go and fetch uh, Marilyn Monroe. But if I look for the number 12, it's going to fetch the 
number 12 within my database, which is Mary Johnson. And that's everything that I wanted to uh, show you for today. So it's all about uh, taking the append value to list rather than, in fact, taking just the store value, uh, the one that you can find uh, over here. Right? So if you take this one, it's going to override the value which is within the tag. Whereas if you take the append value to list, then it's going to append the value to the existing values already within the, the database. And that's all you need in order to start creating uh, your first full uh, database system. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.